Well, George, we here at Sandlack like to think of ourselves as a fairly progressive company. We have a small but prestigious group of clients. Well, uh, a lot of people consider me uh, small and prestigious. <laughs> That's funny, George. You're very quick. Oh, well. I feel like I don't... I don't have to explain every little thing to you. You understand everything immediately. I enjoy understanding. I want you to have this job. Of course. Stu Zimmer's online, too. Great, thanks. I've got to take this call. Listen, I'm really glad that you came in. I want you to have this job. Of course. Yeah. That's it. What do you mean, that's it? He never finished the sentence. He got a call. That was the end of the interview. Of course was the last thing he said? Maybe he was going to say, of course, I have to check with my associates. I want you to have this job. Of course, the board of directors is under indictment and will be serving time. I want you to have this job. Of course, sodomy is a prerequisite. <laughs> All right. Why don't you just go ahead and call him? Because he made a big deal about how I understand everything immediately. That's what impressed him. So if you call to ask if you have the job, you might lose the job. And if I don't call... You might have the job, but you'll never know it. <laughs> what kind of company is it? Rest stop supply. Oh, oh good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 Mm. <laughs> Shower? Haircut. Oh. I'm very happy with this. Who'd you use, Gino? Of course. Wouldn't let that other butcher cut my hair. What butcher? The uncle, Enzo. That's the guy Jerry uses. Well, I've been going on for 12 years. I, I can't switch. I hurt his feelings. Yeah, you never get good haircuts. You can get a good one today. It's Enzo's day off. Gino's there all by himself. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? You should go over there and get one to look good for my bachelor auction. What bachelor auction? Oh, it's this thing where they auction off dates with bachelors for charity. And you didn't ask me to do it? I could raise enough money to cure polio. I believe they've had a cure for polio for quite some time. Polio? Will you go ahead? You need a haircut. Okay. Yeah. What are you all dressed up for? I had a job interview. Yeah? How'd it go? Good. Of course... Ah, Jerry! Oh, hi, Enzo. Oh, you come for the haircut. Uh, no, actually, I was just It's gonna... my day off, but I take care of you anyway, because you're my favorite customer. You've been with me for so long. You're so loyal. <laughs> well, uh, if it's your day off, I, I really eh, don't what's want to the difference? It takes a ten minutes. Well, well, it's... <laughs> Jerry, today, I'm gonna do something special for you. Well, I, I don't want to take too much off. Hey, who's your bomb, huh? You tell her the joke, I cut to the head. <laughs> Gino, you've outdone yourself this time. This is the best haircut I've ever had. <laughs> he massacred you. No. You look like you're five years old. What if I shampoo? Sometimes a shampoo helps. You gotta start seeing somebody else. Get out of this relationship. I can. He loves me. He says I'm his most loyal customer. Plus, he's right there on the corner. I'd have to pass him every day when I go by. But you gotta do it. I can. I can. I break his heart. Yeah. No way my Gino did that. It's an Enzo. He was in the shop. I thought you told me he wasn't gonna be there. So what? So I didn't want to hurt his feelings. His feelings? You can't continue seeing him. You're destroying yourself. Yeah, but he's... Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna let you. Now, if you don't call him, I will. No, no, Kramer, I don't want you to do that. You can't do that. No, I'm gonna call Gino, you're gonna see him, and we're gonna get that haircut fixed up. Well, I don't want you to call him. All right. Gee. You're crazy. 